Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv and today we're going to do a quick little tutorial and show you how you can pause a timeline in Flash without using any advanced action script. We're going to be using the delayed call method of tween light to show you how you can pause a timeline without having to manually add tons of blank frames or regular frames to a timeline. The example that you see running here um, has a very simple animation where all these different um, pieces of text just fade in one after another. Now there's a very short delay between each piece of text coming in. Well, let's say that we want to add one second or two second pause in between each item coming in. Well, the traditional way of doing that would require taking all these, that was great, little tweens here and sliding them over or adding key um, frames and things of that nature. But let me just show you how this finished file is built. You know, we have a very basic timeline here. Let's get it all on stage, sorry. And you'll see that as I scrub through, just fade in, fade in, fade in, over and over and over again, all right? Um, I'm gonna go to the Actions panel and show you by just changing one little number here where I have 0.2, I'm going to change that to one. Test the moving out and now there is a one second delay between each item animating in. I didn't have to touch the timeline. It is a very simple timeline based animation, but I don't have to monkey with a whole bunch of different frames. Let's change this to three seconds just to show you exactly what's happening here. So now I have time to read each point before the next one comes in. And so literally we have seven pieces of text that are coming in and the old-fashioned way of doing this is that I would have to, in seven different places, add or remove frames in order to adjust that timing. Um, now, one more thing I want to point out, too, is that there's nothing wrong with a timeline animation. Now, you've seen me build things like this before, where a bunch of stuff just fades in or slides around. And yes, tween light, tween max, timeline max, those tools are all good, but not everybody is going to understand that stuff right away. So um, I'm always for timeline and action script based hybrids. Uh, so do what you can on the timeline. And then, you, you know, we're going to show you pretty much the easiest way possible to add a pause to your timeline. So let's jump over to my start file here. And it looks very similar. You'll see that we have this staggered animation here set up in the timeline. Each symbol is in its own layer. We have T1 through T7, that just stands for text 1 through text 7. So the first thing that happens is the first text fades in, and then the next, and then the next, and the next. So right now, out of the box, um, I believe I have a stop action on this first frame, and I'm importing the green sock tweening engine. Um, if you need a little help with this, this just tells Flash to import all of my tween light files and I would highly recommend you watch my introduction to tween max and it will explain exactly where I got those tweening codes from and how I added them to my FLA. Uh, so for now though let's focus on the fact that we have a very basic staggered animation and I'm just gonna get rid of this stop here and you'll see that the animation just plays through really quick and then stops at the end. Now if I wanted to say add a one second delay before this animation happened the old-fashioned way, well, I would have to literally um, take these frames, maybe slide them out a nudge, and then, since my frame rate is 30 frames per second, hit F5 30 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have to do this 30 times just to add one second of time to my timeline. Let's undo all that. And if I wanted to have one second between each element coming in, it would also mean I would have to put 30 second frame spans all, right, all up my so time. So now, instead of worrying about having, you know, tons of empty space on the timeline, like so, again, F5 to space things out, we're going to do it all programmatically with ActionScript. So, in the first frame here, now that I have told my time, you know, my main movie to import the green sock tweening engine, I'm going to tell tween light to call its delayed call method. Okay, 
And delayed call takes two parameters. The first one is how long you want to wait in seconds. So let's just say one second. And then the next thing is what function do you want to call after one second? And I'm going to just call the built-in play command in Flash. So check this out. Let's put a stop in here, which means my movie will stop as soon as it loads. Now it waits one second before that text comes in. If I want it to wait three seconds, just change this number to a three. One, two, three, three, there you go. And then it works. So very easy to tell the timeline to stop for three seconds. Now let's take a look at how you would do this the old-fashioned way, or just using ActionScript 3 and not using the green sock tweening engine. I'm going to paste in some code that's used to create a timer. And a timer um, allows you to call a function at a specific interval or amount of time. So every one second you can have something happen, or every three seconds. And you need all of this. You need to create a timer using new timer. You need to then add an event listener and a timer event. You have to tell the timer to start. You have to define what will happen every time the timer reaches its designated delay. And it's a whole bunch of junk. So there's nothing wrong with that necessarily, but I want to show beginners the easiest and fastest, most bestest way of pausing the timeline. And this obviously isn't it. This right here is. So let's get rid of that huge delay at the beginning, and I'll just have half a second, okay? Well, now what I want to do is be able to very easily say, okay, after the first piece of text comes in, I want to wait for, let's just say, one second, okay? So right where that tween ends, I'm going to add a new keyframe by hitting F6, and in there, I'm just going to not paste that, I'm going to tell tween light to run delayed call will wait one second and we're just gonna call play. So now after that first piece of text comes in there's gonna be a one second pause. There we go. Well there wasn't. I also need to tell the timeline to stop. I'm sorry. So we're gonna tell it to stop and wait for one second. One. Boom. The rest comes in. Easy breezy. Now let's just say that was the perfect amount of time to wait. Well, instead of copying and pasting this code on all the different ending keyframes, watch this little trick. I'm going to hold down Option or Alt on the PC, and I'm just going to drag that script over to the end of each tween. Okay, so you'll see that this frame, this action script frame, lines up with the end of the T4 tween coming in. I'm just going to Option drag option drag. All right, so now one, 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 one. You'll see we have my delay. Now really that's all you need to know, but we're gonna go the extra mile here. Just, just Let's just assume that we want to have a uniform pause in between each piece of text coming in. All right, because um, right now if somebody says yeah that was good but why don't you try two seconds well, then I got to go back and change this number to two and a whole bunch of different places or copy all those frames over again once I've made the change. That's not the best situation. So what we're going to do is in frame one, I'm going to set up a variable that's going to refer to or store the amount of time that I want to pause. So I'm going to use the keyword var. I'm just going to call it pause amount. Again, this isn't a tutorial on what a variable is. Um, we can get that other places, but this variable is going to be a number, and let's just say it's equal to three. We'll make it quite large so that it's obvious that it's working. So we're telling Flash that the pause amount, so this is the word I came up with, is going to be three, and in our case it refers to seconds. So let's go back, and I'm going to just get rid of all of these frames that I coded earlier. Shift F6. Shift F6, remember that? That nukes keyframes, it clears them out. So after this first piece of text animates in, in this frame here, let's change things around. Instead of putting in the number one, I'm going to say pause amount. And so now that says, oh, what's pause amount? Well, we said pause amount equals three. 
Once I'm pretty sure that works, I'm just gonna do my option drag click trick again. And we're just gonna drag these frames over. I'm copying that action script onto keyframes every time a tween ends. Okay, so now let's see what happens. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's it. Seconds are really quite long. And so now I have a three second delay between each piece of text coming in. Now, if I globally want to change the timing or the amount of delay between each piece of animation, easy breezy, go back to frame number one, and I'm gonna say, let's speed it up. Let's make it 0.1 second. So now the animation runs much quicker. So once you have it set up, it's real simple to change all over the place. So again, this line of code here pauses the movie at the beginning. Maybe I want to wait one second or two seconds. Just let people love that phone. Test the movie. One, two, then the animation starts. At the end of the movie, maybe I want to have it loop after three or four seconds. We can do that too. Go back to the last frame of the movie. And after the stop action, it doesn't matter if it's before or after, I'm going to tell tween light to do a delayed call. Whoops. And let's just wait three seconds and then we'll say go to, actually let's just do this, hit play. All right, and that's going to take us back to the beginning. Test the movie out. There's our initial pause. Everything builds nicely. One, two, three. Back to the beginning, pauses again, rebuilds. All right, so here we have awesome timeline control using the delayed call method of tween light. It's absolutely brilliant. Now, some of you advanced people out there might argue, oh, well, instead of having the tween light call and the stop action repeated on multiple frames, why don't you just put all that in a function and call that function? Well. Knock yourself out, guys. That's great. Um, I want to keep this as streamlined as possible, and we will get to those sorts of techniques in the future. But right now, the only new action script I've really introduced is just one line of code to you folks and uh, the de delayed call. That's what it is. We tell it how much we want to pause by, and then we tell it what we want it to do afterwards. You can call your own custom functions if you like. Um, it's pretty much limitless, but it's a cool little tool in the action in the green sock tweening platform that I hope you guys enjoy using. All right, I'm going to shut up and shut it down. Leave some comments, check out the blog and embed these videos on your sites. Come on people. Thank you.